Leaves, 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 written and illustrated by Nancy Elizabeth Wallace. Spring, it's spring, said Mama. Would you like to go for a leaf walk, Buddy Bear? Yes, said Buddy. I like to find leaves. The early spring air felt warm. The earth was cool and damp. Where are the leaves, Mama? asked Buddy. Mama tucked gently on a branch. Look carefully. What do you see? I see bumps. Those are buds, said Mommy. Buddy touched a bud. The new leaves are folded up very tightly inside. The bud scales protect the leaves. When the bud scales open, the young leaves will start to unfold. Like this? asked Buddy. Yes, my little bud. They walked farther on. The sun felt warm and nice. Buddy picked up a leaf. What do you see? Mama asked. I see this flat part. That's the blade. I see lines. Those are the veins. The part I'm holding is the stem, said Buddy. How do leaves know when it's time to come out, Mama? It's spring. The daylight hours are growing longer. The spring rain has been falling. The weather is getting warmer. It's time for the leaves to come out and start making food for the trees, she answered. Food? I'm hungry too, said Buddy. Let's eat. They ate crackers and drank juice. Mama, what did the big leaf say to the little leaf? What? Don't leaf me. Mama laughed. Summer. It's summer, said Mama. Would you like to go on another leaf walk, Buddy Bear? Yes, said Buddy. I want to find lots of leaves. The summer air felt hot. Mama and Buddy put down their blankets at the edge of the woods. Mama, go look for some leaves. I'll look for some too, said Buddy. First they spread Buddy's leaves on the blanket. What do you see? asked Mama. I see shapes, said Buddy. One looks like a star. I see one that looks like a heart. There's kind of a round one and a skinny one that looks like a feather. One leaf looks like a mitten and one looks like a fan. Leaves have different edges too, Buddy, said Mama. Look at mine. Do you see a leaf that's jagged and one that has an edge like a saw? Yes, said Buddy, and I see a wavy one and one that's smooth. I'm still looking, said Buddy. All of the leaves have something the same. What's that, Buddy? They're all green. Why, Mama? They're green because of chlorophyll. Chlorophyll? What's that? asked Buddy. Mama started to draw a picture on Buddy's drawing pad. She explained, it's a chemical that's in the leaves in spring and in summer. Chlorophyll helps the leaves turn the sunlight and the rain and part of the air and nutrients from the soil into food for the plant. How? asked Buddy. When we breathe, we breathe out a gas called carbon dioxide. The tree takes this gas in through teeny tiny openings in its leaves. Buddy breathed into his paw. He looked. I don't see any carbon dioxide. You're right, said Mama. It's invisible. Mama kept drawing. Buddy helped. Rainwater and nutrients travel from the earth into the roots, up the trunk, through the branches, through the stems, and into the leaves. The sun shines on the leaves, the chlorophyll in the leaves, and the water and the nutrients that come from the earth, and the carbon dioxide that comes from the air make the food that travels to all parts of the tree. The leaves are making food. I'm hungry, said Buddy. Let's eat. They ate berries and drank lemonade. I'm a leaf, Mama. I'm sucking the water and nutrients up, up, up. Shh, Mama. Yes, Buddy. What did the tree take on vacation? What? A trunk. Buddy laughed. Fall. It's fall, said Mama. Would you like to take another walk and collect leaves, Buddy Bear? I like collecting leaves, said Buddy. The air was cool and crisp. The leaves crunched under their feet. Buddy yelled, red, orange, yellow, leaves. Why did the leaves change, Mama? In the fall, there are fewer daylight hours, so there is less sunlight. The ground and air are colder. The chlorophyll that makes the leaves green is disappearing. The yellow and the orange that have been there all the time can now be seen. What about red? asked Buddy. 
The red is made from leftover food in the leaves, explained Mama. Hold my hands, Buddy Bear, said Mama. I am the tree, you are the leaf. When the leaves are new and young, they are connected to the tree. In spring, in summer, in the wind, in the rain. By fall, the leaves are old. They have done their job. Now, Leaf, hold on by one finger. What will happen, Leaf, when it rains, when the wind blows? I'll fall, shouted Buddy. I think that's why this season is called fall, Mama. I'm hungry. Let's eat. They sat down on a rock and ate apples and drank apple juice. Mama, yes, Buddy. What has bark but no bite? What? A tree, Mama giggled. Winter. It's winter, said Mama Bear. Let's go for a leaf wa walk, shouted Buddy. The winter air was cold and dry. The earth was covered with snow. High up in a tree, a few pale brown leaves still held on. They rustled in the wind. The leaves are almost gone, Mama. The trees are resting, said Mama. In their roots, food is stored for winter. The leaves that fell in the fall are under the snow. Buddy found a leaf. Look, Mama, the leaf has brown veins and lots of holes. Yes, Buddy, the leaves are rotting. The food that's left in them is changing into rich earth that will feed the trees and plants through their roots. Mama pulled gently on a branch. What do you see? Buds, shouted Buddy. Yes, my winter Buddy, you're waiting for spring. I'm getting cold. Let's go inside. I'm getting hungry, said Buddy. Let's go eat. Mama and Buddy ate some soup. Mama, yes, Buddy. What did the tree say to the bear cub in winter? What? I'm bear. You're bear. Mama chuckled. Then while the trees rested, Mama and Buddy rested too.